Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play 999. Last time we left off, we searched the room where Lois is in, and I guess we solved a little puzzle with the water, and we got tiles. Um, don't know what the hell the purpose of them, of them are just yet, but you know, whatever. And we also went back to uh, Seven, and I guess he had, a, he had some of his memories coming back to him. And apparently he was a cop investigating the kidnapping of children like nine years ago and it seems like it was he was in a similar location or possibly the same location who knows and uh but before we can actually fi figure out what happened fully he just doesn't remember everything so let's continue on our search here we'll uh, go into this room here Ooh, this one's a little bit creepier just because it's darker oh uh first thing first anything in the bed the blanket not a really great one but still Anything here? The light's barely enough to see by. I feel like I'm gonna see a ghost here or something. Great. Just great. I didn't want to hear that. Uh, okay. Anything here? Toilet paper. It's still white enough, white enough for me to know what it is, even in the dark. There's nothing out of ordinary about it. 14 equals E? It says 14 equals E in red. Uh, I think I saw 14 in red somewhere. Was that something I'm carrying uh, carrying with me? Definitely, I know I, I mentioned something, yeah. Just... Just gotta... Ugh. Okay, so 14... And 14... Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna manipulating the hell out to see if I can get like another meaning out of it. This one says hi, I guess, if you want to say that. So, 14 equals E, right? And I want to get this on, on the side. Ugh. Turning this thing can be an issue. Not... No, I, don't, I just... I'm not seeing anything. So, yeah, I told... Yeah, 14. 14... What the hell does that mean, though? 14 equals E. Looks like a, it looks like a dirty toilet, but it's too dark to enter. I don't... Hmm, 14 equals E. I'm assuming that E must be... Um, if there's a keypad here, maybe E is like the enter button. Maybe 14 is a part of the... Uh, of the code, I guess? I don't know. Can I pull on this? I can just barely make out the string for a toilet that I can get, uh, that I can get a hold of. Damn it! Kind of, kind of pisses me off. That I can't, I can see it, but I can't touch it. Can't you just step up on the toilet, dude? I mean, it can't be that hard. Uh, so in another room, the river and our spring went together to solve the puzzle. Does that mean there might be a similar puzzle with that mirror? Well, there's nothing else apart from the mirror. Maybe I just need to pair something with the, this mirror. We, we got another mirror, right? I, I think I already know what's going to happen, just to, but I'm still in, in this game here. It's a sink, but there's no light shining on it. It's hard to believe because it's so dark here, but I don't think there, I don't think there's anything going on with the sink. This faucet is too hard to turn. Okay. And, just real quick, let me just check here. There's a simple chair over there where the light doesn't shine. And, can I open this? Ah! Damn it! No wonder. No matter how hard I pull on this damn thing, it won't budge. Guess I won't open this thing anytime soon. It doesn't look like it's got a keyhole, and there doesn't seem to be anything stopping stopping it. How the hell am I supposed to open it? This desk is old and rusty. Can we just smash the damn thing open? Okay. Oh yeah, we can probably use the mirror to reflect the light. That's what I was thinking. Now I just gotta figure out where to where, where to affect the light. Maybe if I go somewhere it's a little easier to shine the light on. Uh, huh, maybe I see a partition over there. It seems pretty pointless to bother examining it. Up here. So if I shine this light on the mirror in the back, I get it. If I shine a light on the mirror, a symbol appears. The sun and the moon. I can't see that. The left one has a sun. The right one's got a moon symbol. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna remember this. What happens if I point it here? If I shine a light in the mirror in the back, 
Is that a number? Four and seven. So if I shine the light on the mirror, then I get some numbers. I see a four on the left and seven on the right. Four and seven. And we got fourteen. Anything else? There's nothing special about this toilet paper. I don't really think I need to bother shining any light on it. What about the sink? Okay, it's nice to see the sink lit up, I guess, but it's all, all it shows me is the pipe. There's nothing else. Partition. Um. Hmm. I guess that's it. But what? Wasn't there another? Yeah, there's another beam of light. Or am I just gonna? This bothers me because I feel like I don't know what to what to do here. That doesn't want to open. Wait, what's he? A drawer that doesn't open. I wonder if this is a part of a puzzle. I want to say it is, but who knows? Let's just get out because I don't know what else to examine for right now. Let's uh go in here. Where the hell does it say em emergence? Emergence. There are a bunch of tiles on, on the door that spell emergence. Emergence. Maybe it means we need to emerge out of here. What can we? Probably means to emerge or to escape from here. Do we need? Do we need to do something with these tiles? Open the door. Well, let me do something with them. Okay, won't let me. Then, what is this? There's a door in the back. I wonder where it goes. I thought of that, and I tried a couple of things, but yeah, same result. Guess someone was about to do anything. Oh well. Ceiling. Yeah, I. Wait. Door in the back won't open. So. Oh shoot! I am so confused. Let me take out the tile. The, oh, there we go. I, I had to have tile equipment. There. there you go. The tiles we found and the tiles here are the same size. When I touched the tiles on the door, I felt something weird. Huh? I can move these tiles. Uh, then that means maybe if we swap the tiles, we get we uh, we got off the tiles on the wall, something will happen. I suppose now we need to figure out what, what sort of designs on these tiles mean. Hmm. And anyway, we should be able to, we should look for all the tiles that are the same size. You're right. Let's meet back here after we've done a thorough search. Is there more? Looks like we should use the tiles here, but there are still rooms that haven't been checked out yet. I'll come back here once I've done that. There hasn't? I checked the rooms. Oh, shoot. Now what do I do? There's nothing... Is, wait, wait, wait. Ah, the bed. I didn't check... Did I, did I check the bed on the other... Oh, I did check the... Oh, it's so confusing now. Oops. The light's barely enough to see, but I feel like I'm gonna need to see ghosts here. Okay, maybe I can shine a light in here? Oh, stop saying that, you're freaking me out. It's a blanket, not really a great one, but still. Ah. Uh. Let's see here. Four and seven. Traditional there's some pointless. <sighs> Sun and the moon. I, I, I don't know. Oh boy, this game really stumped me now. You know what? It's, I just find it weird that. Is there anything we can examine around this? Doesn't look like it. And what items do I still have? I still have. I guess I'm not. Can I combine these? No. Can I combine anything? Oh boy. Uh, there's some kind of blue design. The mirror over the sink. Towel. The drawing of the mirror looks just like the part of the design of the towel. The design of the towel was a like river in spring, right? The picture on this, uh, of this mirror is a spring, then. then it's talking about the water in the sink. Yeah. So? Oh my god. 
Yeah, you guys, I, if you guys have played this game before, then you probably are screaming at me right now. You know, why can't you figure this out? Just the sensible saw in the dark room? Yeah, that's right. There was some kind of number hint there, too. You think maybe the number has, um, was how many times we took a piss? No, it's gotta be how many times we flushed. Maybe. Can I pull this four times? The only thing you can manipulate in this room is a string. Chances are they made this puzzle so someone wouldn't trigger it by accident. It looks like a toilet. Pretty old school toilet. Guess that makes sense though. The ship seems pretty old, too. Uh, probably the nastiest toilet I've ever seen. If Seven doesn't think twice about touching it. Okay, so I once I guess I should keep pulling on this thing then. All right, here goes second pull. I'm assuming because the sun was on the left and four was on the left, maybe I pulled this four times. I yes, I heard something. Did you hear something? I did, but it doesn't look like anything's happened here. Huh? I wonder what that sound was. Oh, great. What was that sound? Okay, well, anything in here then? Actually, I'll hold. I'll, I'll hold on. I just want to see if I bring top of the symbols telling us to make a river flow from the side. Okay, got it. I just want to see what the hell to do with the towel here. It looks like lava water is draining out of the sink. Huh. I feel like there's something up with that too. So, and this is the moon symbol, right? So this time I gotta. Seven times, I believe. So this is what the moose symbol is pointing to, huh? They should probably point... They should, ugh. They probably made it so that someone couldn't trigger by accident, if that's the case. One. Two. Uh, three. This is a gripping commentary. Four. Five. This is six consecutive time. Why, why did it change up the text like that? Seven. Okay, yeah, something popped out again. There's that sound again. It happens whenever I pull that string a couple of times. Junpei, did you hear something from the other room? The other room. You mean a dark one? Okay, that's how I'm going. Uh, so yeah, we are solving stuff. I'm happy. Uh, anything happen? Maybe, maybe this thing popped out. Uh, please tell me this worked. Yes, I rock! Ah! It opens, e it opens easily enough, and we get two more tiles. They... No, I still have one tile. Still says 14 on it. Huh. Okay. There's a bunch of weird lines on a tile thing. I don't get this. I don't think I can figure this one out by my own. Okay, so... Oh, um, oh it's okay, so now we got four. It's all good. There's nothing left in the drawer. So, okay. Sure, it's parents thought differently. What the hell's that even mean, Junpei? Oh, uh, press the wrong button on accident. I've seen we do now a lot in this LP. We're in the center of the room. We don't need to shine light on the hint anymore. <coughs> um, 14 equals Z. Do I, like, do I, do I flush this 14 times? And I put a right click there. Okay, it took a couple tries, but now I've got you, String. Yes! Now I can pull on it! Huh? Doesn't matter how many times I pull on it, there's no flush! I feel like an idiot. I wasted a bunch of time because I just I was determined to flush the toilet. Yay! Looks like a dirty toilet, but it's too dark to tell. Okay. Let's go back to that tile area. Maybe I have a little tiles now. Okay, well, looks like we've investigated all the rooms. The only mystery left is that door. Alright, let's crack that mystery then. We got four tiles. There are a bunch of tiles that are the same size up in the wall there. So we replace four of the tiles in a wall with the ones we've got. That should open the door. Well, there's only one way to find out. And I think I already solved it. Because of that... I totally understand that 14 equals E. So I'm assuming we replace all the E's um, with that. Is it, is it that easy? 
You've gotta be kidding me. Hey, did you just hear something unlock? Does that mean we got it right? Yes, it looks like we did. The 14 hit on the tile. If you convert that to hexadecimal, it's an E. Um... Sure, I, I, well, you know, I, I don't need to know what's on top of my head. I mean, I, I dealt with, like, you know, well, not really hexadecimal, binary, and ugh, whatever. I, ugh, I I hate it. I'm just going to continue on. Basically, the E's in emergence are about 14's from the tiles. So we replace it, that gives us the answer. Do you really care why it worked? Let's just get out of here. Sure. Um, can I, yes, let's go. But that door on the back didn't do anything, apparently. I couldn't open it. Well, in any case, we found the exit. They passed through the open door and headed to the next room. Jupei jogged down the short staircase and looked around. Where the hell am I? Is that a freaking electrical chair? What the hell is this place? The words had sprung unbidden to his lips, but it was clear why. Junpei shivered. Lois and Seven reached the bottom of the stairs and stopped short, terrified. This room is really creepy. I think we ought to get the hell out of here now! He jogged up the stairs on the opposite side of the room and shook the door in the wall next to the catwalk. Oh, great. Yeah, it didn't open. And he muttered to himself. Fears. It's locked, isn't it? Yep. Don't know why I thought this would be any different. Junpei looked around the room again. In the center of it was a chair. The back of it was covered with electrodes connected to the rest of the wires. Beneath it was a strange glass panel. Junpei wasn't sure what it was, but it made him uncomfortable. Whatever, uh, might have, whatever might have been beyond the glass, Junpei couldn't tell. It was too dark. Junpei turned to look at the right side of the room. There was a table covered with a piece of cloth. Parts of the cloth were stained with something that looked suspiciously like blood. On top of the table were a number of metal instruments. Junpei didn't know what they were for, and he had a feeling he didn't want to find out. He, his mind began to imagine what could have taken place in a dark, cold room. The things he imagined were not pleasant at all. Junpei shook his head in an attempt to clear it and try to focus on something entirely differently, I guess, or else. Anyway, we don't want to stay here any longer than we got to. Let's figure out the puzzle and get the hell out of here. Come on! Alrighty, so I guess now we got to figure out a way out of this room. Creepy. Oh. Well, oh, that's one way to describe it. A torture room. Ugh. Yeah, and the music here is... I don't know, it's it's creepy yet... Sh it's not creepy enough for what type of room this is? I don't even know. But I guess uh, next time we'll figure out... how to get out of this torture room. Uh, this, I guess this should be fun, who knows. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play 999. I'll see you guys later.